Hi everyone. Welcome to another question and answer session. Which of the following statement relating to the vertebral column is false? There are seven cervical vertebra. The cervical and lumbar lordosis are secondary curvature developing after birth due to changes in shape of the vertebral disc. The lumbar vertebra don't have a transverse process from it the lumbar vertebra receives blood directly from the outer the spinous process is formed by the junction of the pedicle posteriorly uh, so now we have to uh, find out the false option regarding the, the vertebral column so first of all let's see the sub point regarding the vertebral column so here in this picture we can see the cervical spine in this picture and here we can see the cervical 1 to cervical 6 cervical 1 is the atlas which is the first cervical vertebra then we can see the axis axis is the second cervical vertebra then cervical 3 4 5 6 and 7 so there are seven cervical vertebra present in case of human so in the cervical region there are seven cervical vertebra then thoracic region thoracic region uh, total 12 vertebra and lumbar 5 vertebra sacral 5 vertebra and some of the coccyx and sacrum and coccyx they are uh, finally joined and sacrum form one bone and coccyx form one bone so these are the vertebra in case of the human uh, in this picture here we can see the uh, is the uh, but here is the cranial cavity and uh, this is the vertebra and vertebral column and in this vertebral column we can see two are primary curvature one is the thoracic curvature another one is the sacral curvature so thoracic curvature and sacral curvature they present before birth from the before the Birds they present so thoracic curvature here you can see this is the thoracic curvature and here the sacral curvature so thoracic curvature and sacral curvature they are the primary curvature of the vertebral column on the other hand we can see this is the cervical curvature and here the lumbar curvature the cervical curvature at the lumbar curvature these two curvature are the secondary curvature actually when the baby start to run or start to walk or uh, it makes its heads up then gradually this curvature develop and the lumbar curvature develop so secondary curvature are cervical and lumbar and primary curvature are thoracic curvature and sacral curvature so uh, this figure also very very important Now in this picture we can see details about the lumbar vertebra here. We can see the lumbar vertebra. It is uh, first of all attitudinally it has a large body, which is a kitty shaped body. If we see boundary here, this is the boundary of the kitty shaped body of the lumbar vertebra. Then we can see there is the pedicle, and just behind the pedicle there is literally a process that is the transverse process on both sides. Then we can see the Mammillary process and accessory process also here. This is the mammillary process and here this is the Accessory process and lamina and spinous process. So these are the details about the lumbar vertebra and we know the lumbar vertebra has both the vertebral body vertebral foramen pedicle transverse process mammillary accessory process lamina and spinous process and also the superior articular process and there also have the inferior articular process so these are the component of the lumbar vertebra here you can see the transverse process is present in case of lumbar vertebra then this picture you can see the spinous process here this is the spinous process and this spinous process is arising from the lamina here lamina and here the lamina so the spinous process it arises at the junction of the lamina but on the other hand you can see here this is the pedicle pedicle it connects body with the other part of the vertebra so this point is very very important that it, in case of 
lumbar vertebra the spinous process arises at the junction of the two lamina and the pedicle it connects the body with the other structure and you can see uh, details here it, this is the vertebral arts and here you can see the superior articular facet and here this is the transverse process and this is the facet of the transverse process then blood supply of the vertebral column you can see the lumbar vertebra this lumbar vertebra it receives blood supply directly from the abdominal aorta we can see this part of the aorta this is the abdominal aorta because the abdominal aorta it enters the abdomen through the thoracic 12 vertebral level and we can see from the abdominal aorta blood vessel arising from it and it reaches into the vertebra and supplies the vertebral column so it is easy for us that the vertebra it receives blood supply directly from the abdominal aorta and here we can see there is the artery of uh, adam kiss this moon of the artery is very important we have to remember uh, this is the special type of the artery supply of the vertebral column in this picture we also can see the same type of picture but in the larger version uh, this is the outer and from the outer we can see the uh, branch arises the segmental artery and this segmental artery it gives branch here you can see uh, after arranging the segmental branch it gives a smaller branches to the tubular body and other area here we can see the, it gives the other area of the vertebral column so here our answer now the spinous process formed by the junction of the pedicle posteriorly it is not true because uh, it is not us that uh, the spinous process it is formed by junction of the lamina not pedicle and other options such as the uh, there are seven cervical vertebrae it is true cervical and lumbar lordosis is the secondary curvature it is also true when baby uh, raises heads and uh, run then on work then these two curvature develop lumbar vertebra don't have transverse process foramina it is also true because the lumbar vertebra we know this has transverse process but there is no foramina because the transverse foramina present only in case of the cervical vertebra then the lumbar vertebra receives blood directly from the outer it is also true the lumbar vertebra receives its blood supply from the outer but the spinous process is from the junction of the lamina not the junction of the pedicle so our answer the spinous process is from uh, a junction of the pedicle it is not true regarding the vertebral column thank you all